In this video, we're going to deploy an NFT collection with 10,000 NFTs. If you're new here, my name is Joseph and on Eat The Blocks, I teach blockchain development. The first thing we need to do is make sure our metadata is structured to scale to 10,000 NFTs. So you'll want to create two folders. The first will be called images and the second will be called JSON. Inside these folders, we're going to label our images from 1 through to 10,000, and then we'll have to do the same thing for the JSON files. It's important to note that in this example, I'm just using 10 images, but it's the exact same process for 10,000 images. You can see that my images are just numbers from 1 to 10, and that the JSON files are just describing each image. What is special inside this JSON file is the CID reference in the image link. This is going to be the link to our images folder once we upload it to IPFS. So now let's complete step one and upload our images folder to IPFS. To do this, we're going to use a service called Pinata. So if you have never used it before, go ahead and sign up. Once inside Pinata, we can select our folder to upload and give it a name. After it is done uploading, we will see that it has generated a CID for us. This CID is a link to our images folder. Step two, insert the CID into the JSON files. To do this, we need to replace the CID reference with our actual CID. Now, we could do this manually for all our images, but if we have 10,000 images, this is going to take a really long time. So it's better to write your own script to update the JSON files. If you're on a Mac, you can do this using the following terminal command. Here you can see we are replacing the CID reference with the actual CID. This command also makes backups of your JSON files, so be sure to remove those backups with the following command if the script was successful. Step 3. Upload the JSON folder to IPFS. Go over to Pinata and upload the JSON folder the same way we did for the images folder. Step 4. Insert the CID into your NFT contract. Here you can see I have Remix open and I've created this really basic ERC721 using Open Zeppelin. We're going to need to override the token URI function with the following code. Then you're going to have to insert your CID here. Now that everything is done, we can deploy our contract onto the Gorley network. If you uploaded 10,000 NFTs, you'll notice that you can keep minting up to 10,000 times and even view the results on OpenSea. Well, that's it for this tutorial. If some of this terminology confuses you and you want to learn more about NFTs, feel free to check out our course NFT 101. I'll provide a link in the description below and I'll see you next time.